Hi. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back here. Um, in today's vlog, I thought I'd just, you know, do the usual, take you through my day. We're gonna play a little bit, and then this little one is gonna go for a nap, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Don't take those naps for granted around here. <laughs> and I need to practice making a birthday cake for my four-year-old, whose birthday is at the end of November. And I was also gonna do a workout on my Peloton, but I actually think it's a, it's a cold day, but it's really nice in the sun outside on our deck. So I might do a yoga workout on our deck. We'll see, we'll see how much time she gives me. I've also realized that my Halloween decorations are still up and maybe they should go down. But yeah, um, we're gonna play a little bit, get a bit sleepy, right? and then see how the day goes. trying to get her onto a schedule for napping. Um, I feel like we had that schedule with other kids, but it was more when I went back to work and like the nanny helped me, to be honest. I wasn't so great about it. I feel like I just didn't know how to do it. But she's kind of naturally emerged to have a schedule that I'm really trying to um, cement. Is that the right word? So she usually sleeps at this age She'll wake up anytime between 6 and 7, 6.37, and then she'll go down 8.30 to 9. She'll want to sleep until about 9.45 or 10, so like an hour nap maybe, 45 minutes to an hour nap in the morning. And then I'm working on getting her to have a longer nap in the middle of the day. Woo. So now it is nearly 12 o'clock, and I think it's time for her to have a little nap, and hopefully she'll have a long nap before we have to go pick up kids from school and all that stuff. This day has flown by and I don't even know what I've done, but it's been a lot, trust me. It's always a lot of little things, you know, that add up. And you're like, where did the time go? Hmm? I had to clean her, I've been vacuuming carpets and stuff and like cleaning them. Um, so I guess it just all takes time, right? Doing some work. You know the deal. So let's go night night and then we can get on with our day. Pro tip if you have dogs and you want to keep your couch somehow clean or cats, I guess. Um, I always put a little blanket on the couch and she naturally wants to go on that because she likes to snuggle and burrow and all that kind of stuff. So this way she's dirtying the blanket and not my couch. Hi, no, no. Hi, no, no. Let's put you in your sleep sack. Oh, look at you going through the bars. Oh, oh, now you're holding on to the bar. <laughs> you're holding on so tightly. <laughs> She's too big to go to sleep with this camera in her face. She wants to look at herself. So, see you guys in a little bit. It's very bright. Sorry about my carpet drying in the background. This is a ruggable mat, if you're wondering, and I washed it. It's machine washable. So now it's drying, and this is the only sunny place. But let's see. Let's choose a. I think a yoga flow or something from my app. Get to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. 
Just watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me, I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, baby, real free Okay, work out done, let's go bake a cake She's requested this cake, number four, which is good because I think it's one of the less complicated ones from this book. If anyone is from Australia or South Africa, maybe England, and was born in the 80s, did your mom bake your cake from this book? Because this is the newer version, but this is the exact book that my mom used um, all those years ago. So it's exciting to be able to use it again, something a little different. I usually bake cakes from scratch, pride myself on it, you know, but this calls for a packet butter cake mix, so we're gonna try. I hope this is gonna work. Uh, I've never used this mix before. We're gonna make the cake according to the instructions. I bought a special pan. So I'm gonna put some oil in here to grease it. 350, we're gonna start baking. Cake is ready. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Whoa, smells amazing. I just have to check that it's done. It might need a few more minutes. It's like sank in the middle. Yeah, this is definitely not done. Oh, it's a bummer. I guess that's why I'm trying it out. I'm sure it'll still taste nice, but it's like not cooked in the middle. And I want it to be nice and flat. I don't want it to sink. That's not gonna work either. So I'm gonna let it bake for another five minutes and see if that helps. I hope it's like, like once they sink, I don't know if they really get back up again. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, let's see. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use it regardless. It's kind of come away at the sides, which indicates that it's cooked, so. Mm. Do that up. Nope. That is not working. Okay. I haven't made a cake in such a long time. I've like forgotten how to do it. I did grease the bottom, but I don't think I, I don't know if I greased the side. Maybe parchment paper would be better next time. Okay, let's try this again. It's still pretty hot, but I feel like oh oh oh. Oh no did not grease enough. Okay. Ooh. Maybe if I do like that. Oh, it's like an earthquake in there. <laughs> okay, well, this is why we broke. Look who joined us. Let's close this messy thing. Let's go work out from her nap. What a good girl. I'm gonna try and cut this cake, put baby down, because that would be irresponsible, right? To Try and cut the cake holding her, holding a shop instrument. And I had to find something to make for the little marshmallow flowers for the centers. So I found these dot things. I'm going to see if they have pink ones. Uh, we have so much Halloween candy left over. I'm gonna donate it all because I cannot be trusted. Nope, I cannot. So let's put baby down. We're gonna cut the cake. And then we're gonna see how I can assemble it and decorate it before the little ones come home from school because that would be a nice surprise. Huh? That would be a nice surprise. Hi, baby's getting fussy. I'm gonna work quickly.
ready-made icing. I don't know, it's gonna be nasty. I have some sprinkles, I have some marshmallows for the flowers. So we're gonna make this bad boy because I don't have a lot of time, as usual. I don't have the right kind of spreading tool, but, whoa, that is very pink. And then I have a white version. I thought I could use that. Oh, wow. It's like pre-made. I mean, obviously it is, I knew that, but oh, whoa. People have come to expect these beautiful cakes for birthdays, for kids' birthdays, like like a wedding cake or something, which is just not realistic, obviously. And you know, sometimes you have to appreciate the little home, the homegrown creations because she's gonna have, you know, hopefully lots of birthday parties and lots of opportunity for cake. I'm wondering if cake icing, the process of icing a cake is like, painting a house like you have to do more than one coat what do you guys think let me show you it's, it's very fun is that too like rustic what do you think can i use this for her birthday birthday i'm going to show you i'm going to decorate it with marshmallows it probably would look better on camera i don't know if you can see as much of the <laughs> issues with it if you know what i mean like this this is not good and then also, if I'm having it on this board, like how do I keep, how do I make this board nice and clean? Okay, let's just. If I eat all this icing, I'm gonna get so sick. No, this is like painting. You know what? Kids don't care, right? Just me, just me. I just care what other people think, not kids. We'll see what my daughter, how she, if she likes this. <laughs> now, if you didn't know this trick, my mom told me this. Thanks, mom. This is how you make flowers. Use marshmallows. She probably learned it from this book. If she didn't learn it, if she didn't know it already, I'm sure she did. She cut up some petals. Okay. So they've got a whole bunch of flowers on this thing. So maybe the flowers also will cover up all the issues, you know? do this without it going everywhere they must have cleaned this up i'm sorry okay that one first in peace American Smarties, South African Smarties. Any South Africans out there watching, you know what I mean. They have the beautiful, perfect pink color. All right, here's the trial cake. What do you guys think? I don't know, five out of 10? 
I'm sure it tastes nice. That gets extra points, right? Six out of ten? What is that? Look, Lulu. Oh. What do you think? How did you make that? Do you like it? If I, it's a, not my birthday yet. I know, but I'm just practicing. Look. Can I try some icing? Yeah, I don't know if I like icing, but... What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> no. Is that what you want for your birthday? Lily, you want to cut some? Let's cut this part. Mm -hmm. Oopsies. That one is uh, mine. I'm making one. a big mess. This one is mine. These are so cute. These are like the perfect size for just a little bit of cake or like a little bit of pasta for the kids. So I'm super excited to try them out. Oh, yeah. I will have them linked down below yeah. if you want to see which ones are. What is that? I decided to use these little bowls for the kids' dinner. Thank you so much to Sweezy for sending these to me. They're so cute. They're perfect for kids. And if you only want a little bit of dessert because you don't need a huge piece of chocolate cake. And then to end off the evening, we were so lucky we were able to go on our first date night since we moved to Austin, just the two of us. So here we're driving, it's so beautiful. I couldn't do the sunset justice but you get the idea it was really fun so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos let me know what else you'd like to see from me and i will see you guys very soon bye